Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. You know, there was something that was bothering me from our last video where we talked about the Philips Hue and the Google Home and we tried to integrate those two devices. See, I was using the native Google Home application on my iPhone and I wasn't able to directly interface to the Philips Hue application or the Philips Hue account that I had. So that kind of bothered me. So I took some time to research that. Here's what I found. I'll just go through that here with you right now. So first off, let's go through what happened. I was using the Google Home application and I went into the area where you can add devices and add rooms inside the Google Home application and I went down to the Philips Hue, clicked add device. As I went in here, I tapped sign in with Google. And this is what I got, an error 403 OAuth 2 error. Now I could fill up your day with a lot of mumbo jumbo and tell you what all this means, but essentially this is saying that Google's not going to allow you to use an iPhone to log in in this manner into the Google account. So I'm going to show you three different ways to tackle this situation and solve it for yourself. I moved on to if this then that. Now we all know that we can integrate different applications with if this then that. We can integrate different home, home uh, automation products with if this then that. So we're gonna go ahead here. And I've gone right into the Google Assistant part of if this then that. That's how you connect your Google Home device. And I'm just scrolling through here and we've run into OK Google Party Time which works with the Hue lights. So if you, ha if you have the color lights, that one's uh, especially fun. We'll show that in another video here. But so what I'm doing is I'm just searching until we run into another Hue one. Here's OK Google Bedtime. It works with Hue and we can turn that on. And again, it's gonna ask me to log in, but this time my Google account works just fine. And there we are, we're now granting permission to if this then that to communicate with our Hue devices and here's what we've got to do we've just got to say bedtime to our Google Home or time for bed or time to go to bed and it will turn off all the lights if you want or you can break it down by a certain light or a certain room so I just left it as all lights because at bedtime I want all my lights to turn off so the second solution here is to use Android. Now, Android's pretty simple because when we're in the Google Home application, we're actually already logged into our Google account. That's just through the native Android operating system. So you don't actually even have to log in again. It just goes straight into the setup process like you saw there. So all we have to do here is press the link button and then we'll have to push the link button on the Hue bridge. And then it says its pairing is complete. And now we're into assigning rooms and setting the light up for whatever automated things we want it to do. Now this third solution is pretty simple. Within your iPhone, you're gonna re-enter back into the Google Home application. You're gonna head down to the Philips Hue and instead of this time trying to sign in with your Google account, you're actually gonna just create a new account. Obviously, you're not gonna love that because you are gonna to have to sign in to that every once in a while, but this is a third workaround, not my favorite. I prefer Android. So I hope that video has helped a few of you. I know when I ran into that problem, I didn't like it one little bit. So I hope that either of the two methods I gave you for dealing with that error uh, has worked out for you and if it hasn't leave a comment below. I'll help you out as best I can. Thanks for watching